Let's harvest some seaweed. This is bull kelp. Sharp knife is all you need. Boom. Nice and hollow. You can make pickles with this. I'm just gonna get a couple of these. You're only allowed 10 pounds per day. I'm gonna make some um, garden fertilizer. Seaweed fertilizer, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, throw this in the back of the kayak. If you grab two of them total. It's just gonna be messy because they took too long, so I'm just gonna throw all the blades in here first. These are already turning to mush. Yuckers. This kind of stuff I'm gonna cut up to smaller pieces. You just want a bigger surface area. I don't know how fine I have to cut this. I've never actually made seaweed fertilizer, so an experiment for all of us. I'm gonna add blackstrap molasses. This not only gives carbohydrates in the form of sugars to feed those microorganisms, but there's also a lot of trace minerals in here that will also be good for fertilizer and for the microbial life of my soil that I pour this into. So I go heavy with this kind of stuff. You can see that was probably already, ooh, I don't know, half a cup. This whole thing is 32, so that might have actually been a whole cup. It could have been about a quarter of a jar. And now I'm just gonna top it off with water. And just like the other things I've, other things I've done similarly, um, I'm gonna check it weekly and assume it'll be done in four weeks or so. All right, two week update. Not nearly as far broken down as I thought it would be. Um, still lots of chunks in there. So I'm um, gonna let this keep going. It smells really nice. It smells like molasses. It's another indication it's not really decomposing yet. But two week update, give you more later. All right, week four update. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's slowing down. It never got really rancid and stinky, but things are clearly breaking down. So I'm a little bit confused. This might be as good as it gets. Today is exactly six weeks. Longer than I've let like my fish fertilizers go. All right, let's, let's stir this up. That's actually a little bit of mold or something on top. I'm not gonna worry about that. You can still see a lot of these are still solid chunks, big firm chunks, but um, there's also a ton that's liquefied. You can see in the liquid that it's not just plain water. I mean, clearly something's breaking down. I think this has gone on long enough. Six weeks seems long enough. And this is just my first time, so who actually knows? Maybe it needs six months, but I'm gonna give it six weeks. I'm gonna strain it the same way I strain my fish fertilizer with half inch hardware cloth into an empty bucket. I'm just gonna pour this one into that one. I'm gonna let this further drain into this one, then whatever drains I'll pour it back into here. This pile will go into my compost bin. But now let's take a look at this. This is nice. All right, well, I think this was a, a success. It took longer than I thought, and it didn't break down as much as I thought it would. But this looks like good stuff. Seaweed fertilizer has tons of micronutrients, lots of, lots of trace elements. All right, safe to say I'm finally done with my seaweed fertilizer. It's been a couple months in the making. End results was about three and a quarter concentrated gallons. This way I can take out a little bit, shake it up, make sure it's nice and homogenous and mixed up, and then I can use it. I haven't settled on an application rate, probably something like a few tablespoons per gallon. There's no way I'll know the exact nutritional um, content of this, so it'll be impossible to say for sure what I should add. Four of these, and while I was at it, I did the same thing with my fish fertilizer. The fish fertilizer is what really got me hooked into making my own 
um, garden fertilizer, even though I've made worm compost tea and fish fertilizer and now seaweed. And the next one I'm working on is comfrey. I grew comfrey just to make another type of fertilizer. I'll put that in a different video. But yeah, I've got lots of fish fertilizer. I've got lots of seaweed fertilizer. So use everything you can. Uh, you know, the fish came, we ate the fish, then we were able to use the rest of the, the, the animal to make fertilizer. The seaweed is a renewable resource. Harvest from the earth, keep things sustainable, keep things living, keep, thing in, keep things in balance as much as you can, and hopefully you get a good garden and a good bountiful harvest out of it to feed you and your family. Take care. Thanks for watching.